<laughs> yes, yes, we are the SWAT experts. <laughs> right? The show has already been renewed for a second season, but we have questions about this season. Yes, we do. We have two gentlemen joining us who will be able to answer all those questions. Please welcome Gentlemen. Alex Russell and Kenny Johnson. Also known as Luca and Street. Yes. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, Lisa. Now, What's up? Yeah. We, we love being called gentlemen. Thank Sacramento. you. Sacramento. Yeah, isn't that great? <laughs> you know, we um, intro you every single week and say the show is coming up, and then we go, we love this show. Now, we have to admit we're shallow. <laughs> we think you have the best-looking cast on TV. But beyond that, why are you guys so popular? So you guys are... Okay. <laughs> Are you guys Shamar fans? Well, we uh, are. We're fans. You love Shamar more? I, I'm going to be honest, okay? Uh, he was the reason I started watching, but I stayed because the rest of the cast. You guys are all amazing, all fabulous, oh, fabulous that's looking. So sweet. I, I'm telling you, it is an action packed show every week, but it also kind of pulls at my heartstrings. I'm telling you, the last three episodes, and you brought tears to my eyes. Luca, we got to meet your real life daughter, right? And actually shared a personal story yeah. for yeah. you. Yeah. And yeah. Street. Okay, so oh. why is this show yeah, taking ahead. off and why are you back for season two, do you think? I, I mean, I, I think that, uh, you know, this show is a great combination of things that keep people wanting to watch and that make me excited, you know, to go to work every day. It is action packed, and we are doing we are doing <laughs> action sequences that just does not happen on TV. It's not, I haven't seen anything like this on yeah. network TV. It's amazing what they do. It's amazing how they make us look. Yeah, that is so cool. Uh, the 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 character development and the the look at how being a SWAT officer affects you every day and how that I internally weighs with people. Uh, and we see that with, with all these characters. We see it with Luke with his grandfather in mm -hmm. that situation. We see it in, you know, multiple times. I think that brings people in. And then the, the, the final thing is this show has political relevance, but yes. not because it's trying to, not because it's trying to be, you know, political. It's because these, these elements naturally exist within this world, within law enforcement and society and communities and how they interact and, and, and live together. It is the black versus blue mentality. It is racism and misogyny in the workplace. It is racial profiling, especially, you know, in these situations, these terrorist situations. And I think that these things being brought up in a show that's otherwise super entertaining makes people feel good and then leaves and leaves room for productive conversations in the living room afterwards and i think that that's why we're we're we're, we're seeing the love that we're seeing and we're grateful for that yeah, yeah. and you're working it's definitely an adrenal rush too yeah i absolutely. mean it's it's a it, i mean every week and yes. yeah i mean working with my daughter was awesome because they yes. got to play a little storyline that's very human with a child that's illiterate and uh struggles with dyslexia so um, I personally did it in my life. I had dyslexia until I was like 23 severely. And the writers just decided to take on that storyline and play it through a little child and have Luca identify with that. So to have my daughter cast um, as that girl and to. It felt very natural and very real and in the moment. And was uh, it's great that on top of everything, they can make these like little tiny uh, details. Yeah, details in, in human stories that yeah. are, you know, that's very real in the world too, as well as uh, all that crazy stuff we do. Yeah. yeah, and so, Luca, we're glad you're off the couch and into your own place. And uh, we'll be looking forward to next season. Oh. Yeah, I got a dog to take care of now, though, but that's weird. It's too bad the Call of Duty campaign was left at 56% complete. Yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know why it booted me out still. Oh, yeah, yeah I know, but you're still in. friends. Yeah. You're still friends. You're one big family, SWAT family. <laughs> All right, Kenny Johnson, Alex thank Russell, you. thank you so much for chatting with us this morning. It was so weird to hear him thank with you an guys. accent. I know, right? Because he doesn't have any kind of an accent in the hear show. That every day. He's so. got a great accent yes. going on there. Yeah, I'm just saying. He's been working on it. Can you impersonate Street for us? Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, tell me what. Uh, just, just tell me. Uh, I, oh, I do a voice exercise every day that gets me into the American accent. It's where the satyrs are chattering, nymphs and their flattering glimpse of the forest. Okay, and it's good. And so on and so forth. That's I'm going to talk in my own voice now, but I have to warm into her. It doesn't sound good. Well, you sound fantastic. You sound Thanks yeah, again, to get you too. That. All right, SWAT season finale tonight. Back over to you. All right. Yeah, they're cute. <laughs> hey, if you're obsessed with the drink LaCroix, we found.